the current technology of how we interact with computers is not useful anymore. This company is all about how can you change the way you interact with technology and it makes sense to use your actual hands. So Mendes VR is completely focused on uh, hand interaction in virtuality, how you in manipulate or interact uh, within VR. We faced quite some roadblocks, especially in the beginning. The, the first roadblock we faced is uh, what, what, for what kind of market are you developing our product? At the initial phase you have to think of your own market because well, when you're developing you don't have the clients yet. So we set on the, the gaming market because that's where we affiliated the most with. But in the end that, that didn't prove to be a sustainable market yet. So we listened to the feedback from our, uh, from our customers or clients that were interested in our product. And with that feedback we ventured on to different kinds of industries. We pivoted from the consumer market to the business market because the consumer market has a lot of cool promises but the business market has a use for it right now and they can save money on training or simulating things right now. So our current technology is being used by training facilities like NASA, in the automotive industries, in the medical field for training. There are a lot of startups now doing a visualization of VR training in the medical field and they want to train doctors uh, how to do certain procedures and of course they want to add our glove because it adds a very immersive layer to that kind of experience. I think it's going to make a lot of things more efficient. If you train people in VR to do something, you have so much control over the environment and you can iterate working environments really quickly. So first we met NASA at, uh, at the E3 convention. He, he tried on a glove and the first thing he did for five minutes was just pulling his finger to test out how reliable our technology was. And he was like really impressed. Uh, his literal words were, this is the best I've, uh, I've seen so far. And uh, six months later, we sent up our, our samples and they integrated in their uh, simulation environment. I think there's definitely pride in the fact that you are enabling people to, to learn things or to make their organization better or to make, just in general, make learning more accessible to people. I don't know if I would call myself an innovator, but right now we seem to be disrupting or helping VR to disrupt the industry. Uh, it's, it's, it becomes more and more easy and cost effective to, for companies and eventually individual users to adopt the technology and we are a contribution to that. What we envision is that in uh, three years we have built up a sustainable company based on the, the current industries that we are helping. But in uh, five years I think we can really set a standard in how we interact uh, with technology.